In this video, I'm gonna show you how to back up all your N8N workflows with N8N. And the reason why this is so important is because last year I had like 50 N8N automations that a developer wiped my like database disk and completely lost all my workflows. So after that, I built this workflow to completely save my stuff every day. And what's really cool is it doesn't cost extra, extra money. It's easy to set up. And I actually want to thank Oscar. I'll leave his uh, profile to uh, his YouTube profile in the description below because I actually got this workflow from him. But it's super easy to set up. All you need to set up is your GitHub and your N8N API. Okay. And what GitHub is, if you don't if you, you don't know what that is, it's basically a place you can store all of your code and, and stuff online, private, or you can make it public and share with people. So it's a really great place to it's a really great place to find other really valuable open source projects. And if um, that's actually where I saved all of my 449 N8N templates that I've created or have collected over the past couple of years. I even use these templates that make me $4,000, $5,000, $8,000 a month in building these four companies. So if you haven't gotten that yet from the last video, I'll also leave a link where you can actually get access to that GitHub and save all those workflows and upload them as you will. And then, uh, but let's get right into it. Let's just dive in. So when you get access to this workflow, um, I'm going to give the actual file to it in my school community. But if you just want to follow along, you can build this out very quickly with me as well. So effectively, you'll you'll get this entire workflow and how you basically will get it. It'll be in a file or you can just copy and create copy the uh, file in JSON and you can just create a workflow and paste it right in here. OK, so if you get access to the repo, you can just copy it and paste it. It'll pop up like this. OK, but let's go back. Um, so we have it all set up and now I want to show you how to set up your GitHub and your N8N API. So first things first is you need to create these, go to hit press here, hit credential, and you're going to look for GitHub. Okay. Go to OAuth2 API. And what that will do is it'll find this little thing right here. And this is how you create your, your GitHub API. Now, what you want to do to set this up is you go to github.com. Um, if you don't have a, a profile yet, it'll just bring you to the, the main page, sign up for a profile, it's free. And once you're in here, you wanna click this profile avatar up here, go to settings. And then on the bottom left is developer settings. And right here, you're gonna go OAuth and you're going to, I already created it, but you're going to go hit new OAuth app, okay? So once you hit new OAuth app, you're going to put in the name. You can just do N8N. Uh, I'm just going to say demo. And then you want your homepage URL. And effectively what that is, is just your instance, your N8N instance. And I'm just going to remove this stuff. And then you want to add your callback URL. Now, your callback URL will be found right here. And so you just want to paste that in there and then hit register application. So once you're in here, now what you want to do is you want to um, copy this client ID, put that right here, and then you want to create a, generate a new client secret, and that'll be right here. Just copy this, pop that in here, and then connect my account. And this will pop up, and you just want to go ahead and um, grant access to whatever it is you want to grant access to. Um, if you have different organizations like this, um, and then I'm just gonna authorize this one, okay? So I only need to set up my, my current one. So this is set up, now it's hooked up, okay? The second thing you wanna add in here, if you look at the workflows is, you wanna add in this N8N API key okay so well, how do you get that go to here go to settings look at NAN API uh, I can't create a new one so I'll just delete this for you guys and create an API key this will be an NAN whatever I'm just gonna leave it an NAN because and then I'll do no expiration and hit save and this will pop up so I click this and I want to go ahead and go to credentials 
and then we want to create a new credential. Look up N8N API and paste it in here. Now, right here, you just need to put API v1 and then in your instance. So I'm just going to type API v1 and then I'm just going to copy up here. Well, it's actually this just your your main domain. And right there, once I hit save, it will pop up. OK, so this is all set up and it in account. I'm just going to put this as demo so I know to change this. OK, so we set up two things. We set up the Go GitHub and then we've also set up the N8N demo account. So now what do we do with that? Go back to here and you want to go here. Click the um, GitHub that you set up and then you want to put in your GitHub repo. So actually what I didn't go over is when you first start up with GitHub, you want to create a repo. OK, so I'm just going to create one and let's na name it N8N demo okay and then demo is available put it as private so no one can see uh, this information hit create rep repository now i got this set up now um when you first start it you need a file in here in order for it to uh, work in the workflow so just go ahead right here create a new file and you can just put in whatever you just name it example json and then you can just you know, whatever, write something in here, hit commit changes, commit changes, and it will bump it. And now you have a file in here, so it should be searchable in workflow in uh, any then. So this is selected. Uh, make sure that you have your repository URL by owner right here. This is easy. Just go to GitHub. And then if you go to your main profile, it's just this right here. Just copy that, paste it here. And then you go to, from list and you should see pop up all of your stuff here so okay and then in demo and i'm going to test the step and it should list out the file i just added in there so yeah this one file it's example.json i just added in there okay now once that's set up now we need to hook up this api oh okay so i think it is this one great okay so it didn't appear last time oh i'm gonna use this one one of them works. OK, whatever one that was working is working. OK, so whatever you set up, you only have one. I have like three because uh, I keep doing demos and I don't delete them. So now this is running. What this is doing is um, it's gathering all of the workflows. So we have 156 workflows here and I'm going to save them all. OK, so let's walk through. The, everything's hooked up now, but I'm going to walk you through this. So if you don't have access to the file, you can actually create it yourself. So first thing you want to start with is a trigger. A schedule trigger is basically you can set it up to however you want. This is set up to every day. It will schedule this workflow to run at midnight every day. OK, next thing is just going to set the date. So it just sets the current date um, and uses a set date and current date, current date. And then. Um, format it so you can just drag this over into here and then you can create this format so it's um date date month year hour minute okay and this is what the formatted date looks like so this is what it comes in as and then this is what this node does it just formats it to to show um right now it's uh, 609 my time um on february 24th okay and then we will set the commit date. So it's effectively whatever the formatted date is when we're going to commit it. And then it's going to list all of these. Uh, it just is a GitHub repository. We're just going to list all of the um, uh, files from this specific repo that we created. OK, and then it's going to combine all the file names. OK. And this basically just can cap like takes all of them and then lists them all in and like, OK, I just want the names of all the files. And then I'm going to uh, retrieve all of the workflows from N8N with this node. OK, and then it moves this JSON to binary. So effectively, this is what it does. Uh, you just use this code to basically take the uh, 
Here, I'll show you what it does. And then what will happen there is then we split it into uh, different items and we just basically see, okay, this is already in the directory. Uh, let's say we have 156 items. It comes into this node and then we start splitting it into running each one, one by one. It says if it is in the directory, the repository, then we will update it. And if it's not in the repository, we create a new file and upload it. Okay. So basically this is the update file for GitHub. And then uh, it just puts the backup. And then um, this is a commit message. Every time you, you create an update to um, N8N, you need to have a message. So it's basically just whatever the, the commit is. Uh, it's just backup and then the, uh, the date. And then same thing right here. The same thing, it, whatever the commit message is, it's like the backup and the date. And this is all set up. So make sure that this is to the right one. So I'm going to update this to the right one. This one is demo. So if you remember, we don't have anything there in the demo one. So I'll show you demo. I need to remember to move all this back. Demo. OK. Uh, so it's all set up. I'll just double check. All right. So if we go to my repo, when to check out NAN demo, there is nothing here. Okay. Nothing. Well, except for this example, JSON we created, but we run this whole bad boy. I'm just going to hit test workflow and boom. Okay. I'll hit save. And now this is just running, 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 running. So see, this is just doing, it's going to throw 156 times. It's going to rotate each one and it, it Look, it's only doing up to upload file because this is the first time we're adding it to the repo. The next time you run, if there are changes, it's just gonna, I mean, it, it's just going to update it every time. Okay, so the next time you run it, it'll just do 156 up here, updating it. But if there is no file, uh, it will upload it like it's doing right now. So we can actually check the demo to see what's going on here because it's already adding it all. So as you see here, update. Okay, so. This is how um, you'll you'll get it. And let's say you lose your database completely and it's gonna keep running. So I'm just gonna create a new workflow. Let's say you lose your um, your database completely. This is what I wish I had. You can actually just go into any of these, okay? And let's say this one, I'm just gonna copy this raw file. Okay, just copy the code and I'll go in here and I'll just command V paste and it pops up right in here. Look how easy that is. It's so like now it's safe. And then all I got to do is just like if you create a new instance, you should you know, hook up all your credentials again. Like if you lose your credentials, but if your credentials are already hooked up and everything, it's just going to work. So this is a game changer. Um, I hope this was helpful for you. If it is, uh, just go ahead and click the link in my bio to get access to my 449 templates. Uh, this is actually going to be in my school group. So if you're not already in there, there's going to be a information on how to access to the school group. We are uh, about $30 a month right now, but uh, it's going to jump up to 40 at the end of this month. But in addition to that, we're also giving away a free Go High Level account that you can use it's all yours, completely free. Normally it would cost you $99, but we're giving away for free for, I mean, well, you get access to it with $40, but you also will get, um, every week we're doing masterminds and, and demos and uh, teaching you about how we're using AI and automations and NNN and Go High Level in our actual business and giving you templates like this so you can just go ahead and copy and paste or ask us any questions on what you want to build. So I hope to see you in school. If not, I hope this video was valuable for you and that you won't lose 100 plus workflows like I did last year. So bye.